in-depth coverage of the blizzard of 2013. Cleanup continues across southern New England tonight. In New Bedford, we've learned that public schools will reopen tomorrow. The city's mayor decided to cancel school again today, giving crews more time to clear out streets. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance has been tracking the city's blizzard recovery. She continues our pinpoint weather team coverage from the newsroom. It's back to school for students in New Bedford on Wednesday after keeping schools closed Monday and Tuesday to protect students and to avoid bus accidents. Days after Blizzard 2013 dumped as much as 28 inches across southern New England, the city of New Bedford is still digging itself out. So things are coming back to life. Mayor John Mitchell is keeping schools closed Tuesday to give more time for storm cleanup. It's a close call. A decision he made after surveying neighborhoods. There are certain intersections that uh, with those piles were had uh, they were really tight and the buses would have had a very difficult time turning. Mayor Mitchell says he was also concerned for the children on foot. It was still very sloppy outside. I pictured kids walking to school this morning through slush and ending up in school soaking wet and that wouldn't have made for a good learning experience for kids. Parking bans were lifted Monday and the city's power is restored. It's a multi-day process that Mayor Mitchell says is common. When you do snow removal in a city, there are a few places to put the snow. You can't just push it off to the side of the road because there are sidewalks, there are lots of people. So right now we're just pulling it all out and bringing it down here. To a parking lot used during warmer months for the ferry. It settles here, it goes into the city's uh, uh, storm system, uh, storm drain system, and, and it's taken care of. Mayor Mitchell says more than 50 people slept in shelters inside a middle school. Well, they've all left now that their power is back on. Reporting in the newsroom, Shante Lance, Eyewitness News.